game one. We've already got a quick five-man smoke out from them from both sides, actually. Though uh, it's pretty funny the uh, philosophy difference here. Everybody's running out to their lanes really aggressively on KBU. Meanwhile, now it's his uh, conga line. You know, it's straight down mid all together now. Yeah, and like this Klinks is leaning top. I wonder if they're dodging the matchup. Which doesn't make Ooh. sense to me, but maybe. Yeah, why would they do that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily mean they are, but usually when people do this, it's like they're leaning that way. Because, like, Sunlight's sitting bottom with this Weaver. So he definitely is heading bottom. Maybe they think they're dodging back, or maybe they... Maybe they just feel that Clinks is going to do pretty well up here versus Spectre. Yeah, I mean, either way, it's a Clink. Uh, like, Clinks is going to be somewhat happy with the lane either way, right? Like, either Burning Barrage on Eidolons, Probably, which maybe yeah. it's good at killing, maybe it's not, I'm not certain. But I Annihilate it's actually takes a lot of damage here. He's forced to use his Fairy Fire early. And, well, it's too late to go back to the fountain, so he's just going to have to burn through all his tangos. Oh, dear. That is three bounty runes once again for now, and says, uh... I, yeah. I'm a little bit surprised. They got the, the three bounties last time, so I kind of figured yep. KBU would, like, stack one side. I feel like that usually happens. When you lose that on the bounty rune game, you're like, all right, screw it. Let's really make sure we get two, and they just stack one side or the other, you know? I mean, your heroes are pretty bad at the rune. Yeah, that's but true. But, yeah, uh, you could have, like, five man somewhere at least or, like, got an aggressive ward out. <laughs> they did it again. Here comes the mass challenges all running at an eye and eye light. Deal with the gauntlet, sir. It has been thrown. Watch I annihilate, not die, and get a rampage with a sonic wave and win all those duels at once. That would be a bold prediction. I give it a <laughs> low probability. Yeah, but yeah. Anything is possible in the world of Dota 2. See how these lanes pan out. Maybe they have a better idea than I do. But I, I don't think this Enigma Weaver matchup is that good, but like it might, maybe they have an idea of how to play it and it'll be okay. I, mean, I don't like Weaver gets stomped or anything, but I think over the long run, like you have no Eidolon kill. Weaver does not kill Eidolons. Eidolons kill the bug. So I don't see this progressing that well. Yeah, it seems like a very defensive idea of playing against Enigma, right? Like, he shouldn't ever die to this lane, but you're not farming Eidolons, which is normally what people do to counter this hero. And uh, they're actually going to be losing first blood here as Warden gets chased down. Just a uh, Malphis into constant right clicks from the Eidolons into a Stormhammer. That was pretty easy. Yeah, I mean, they're already having trouble. Like, if you can't kill these Eidolons, they're way too powerful. These things do insane damage. They guarantee split. They last a decent amount of time. Mu has the Bassy, so he's just sitting here regening up. Zevri has Headdress doing the same thing for him. You're losing out on the efficiency, and you're losing out on the equilibrium, and now you're losing out on the kills. Well, they no are to winning top lane six. really hard. Yeah, they're doing decent. I mean, Costa has three CS. He's struggling. I mean, he's a Spectre, man. I don't know. This hero... Does this hero care about the lane? I don't think so. If I've learned anything from watching Ana Spectre at multiple TIs, <laughs> it's that the first five minutes mean absolutely nothing for this hero. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that does make sense. <laughs> Jump I mean, forward, the dispose, the pull him back in. I'm not sure if, uh, well, actually, he knows Spirit Siphon's on cooldown. It's level one and he just used it, so. Not a bad go, I guess. Uh, How's mid lane going? Yeah, I was gonna say, Nouns are winning the lanes they wanna win, which is this Ember. Gunner's doing pretty damn well. Bringing the heat oh. to Danny, actually. No blink, he's gone. He's dead. Oof. No dual win for you, sir. Gonna miss Plus. a bunch of CS as a result. Now they're actually gonna lose Chen as well. The Marcy dies and husky will live thanks to the fairy fire uh mmr Taurus is actually in trouble 
He's the level he one Shikuchi, so they, there's no way out of this one. Nice bloody block in from Moo. Turns around, does what damage he can to the Enigma. Might be able to trade out the kill, but Warden actually can't stick around. The Eidolons do far too much. These Eidolons just out of control, man. I, I don't know. This kind of looks like how it was panning out to me. This lane does not sound fun for Weaver. Because every time you Sakuchi, you can't show your face. You're going to get stunned into Eidolons and you're going to stun again. It's just a rough one. A rough lane setup. I mean, yeah, you get like this Clink Spectre matchup, but again, Spectre was the free lane, right? Like, Spectre's never going to like, win her lane. And even that said, she's doing fine. She's actually just farming up here. A bit of a lane disaster for KBU. Not what you want out of this type of lineup. And not the first time they've had a laning disaster. Nope, it is not. Gunner's a level ahead mid, man. That is not supposed to happen against the Quap in any matchup. No. And Ember with this kind of start is like... He's one of the most insane heroes in Dota, honestly. This hero just takes the game over. Absolutely, 1v5s. So Gunner is pushing into a... Uh, you're gonna have to deal with me territories. Yeah, Clink's not doing much better. Hey, look at Bug all those bugs. Bottom. Yeah, see, this is all the gold you farm the bugs. <laughs> you just got like 150 gold off that. And he's like, oh, yeah. thank you. Bug me again, sir. It's it's so good. It actually feels so good. You get six Eidolons that all kill the bug, and then it's literally 200 gold. Yeah, and then like what you maybe trade back an idol on or two like the net worth exchange is well worth it oh nice rebound back into husky they get the kill and realm should be able to back out no problem meanwhile looks like z freak got super low in the bottom lane but he's free to leave the lane it's so pulled back that uh the enigma is going to be able to farm just fine underneath tower yeah, moose chilling death profit kill is nice this is the one lane they can snowball and create a pressure point on with how much this clinks is harassing the specter and forcing yeah. dp to have to man up because their other lanes are not going well. This mid lane's only got worse, man. Danny is going to base again. Which means free six minute rune for Gunner on top of his level advantage. On top of his 1,000 net worth advantage he's created. Damn, he just took him to town. Oof, he really did. Gunner showing why he is one of the best in NA mids right now. Really only being outshone by... Uh, I see CNC and uh, Brian lately. Tough competitors to surmount. Yeah. Annihilate. Blinks backwards. He's okay. Bottom lane, meanwhile, getting pressured by the Siege Wagon. Yeah, they do get the kill, which is nice. Prevents some sort of dive action. Still level five and a half on Enigma, level four and a quarter on this Weaver. You're gonna have an early black hole potential. She's gonna force Rubik to stay down here, which I mean, he's not really going anywhere anyway. Still, I, I can see this Weaver dying here in the next minute or two. Well, this is a no stun lane, so <laughs> Realm is uh, free to TP back, I guess, to the tower. Uh, so he's gonna have to be a little bit skittish until he gets his level six, which is it is coming in soon. You know, the uh, you were talking about, uh, I think during the break, right? The the Enigma and maybe higher value because of this flag bearer creep. Uh, but you can't actually deny it, but, y well, you can't deny it by using the ability on it, but the Eidolons are still great for controlling CS, and, uh, specifically for, like, actually right-click denying that, uh, that, cr that flag bearer creep, so, there's definitely still some, some added value, even if you can't, uh, one-shot it. And they get the reason. So, yeah. They get, it's a nice hero to be Zora. And Gunner, implementing his strength, double kill right off the bat here instantly back to mid misses nothing yeah there really was out of anything <laughs> there was nothing that uh clinks or marcy could do about that one gunner was just gonna clean it up and now oh, he's him gonna again? get him trying to run him down when's the next flight coming up he doesn't gets have the mana anyway. just yet three seconds there he gets it just with a straight up run him down right click jeez man gunner that family's bro chill this guy is just destroying man Absolutely kill no top. mercy. Insta back the mid. Soul kills the mid for a second time. Where'd the rune go? That's the only thing he didn't get out of all this. Invis for Rubik. I mean, Weaver TP's mid just to take the death farm because he doesn't want to be bottom. This is an absolute shellacking in the early game. 
I don't know right. where you create a pressure point. This is the problem with these drafts. Like, you have three single target cores with not a lot of setup, super dependent on your supports, but you lost the lane, so your supports are kind of under leveled. Like, where, where do you go to create some action? You got to bring numbers, and you got to bring a lot of them. So, four heroes to bottom. Make the magic happen. RC in some trouble. They do have the Weaver coming in from behind. Missed the rebound stun. Z Freak oh, not going to go down so easily. And Chen is still, he's going to die for sure. MMR Tourist, Shikuchi. Well, he doesn't have his ultimate, so he's going to have to rely on the Shikuchi to get him out of here. But Mu, there if he wants to, anywhere. he can black hole, but he doesn't need to. I mean, it's the right idea with the numbers. The problem is, yeah, there's Spectre in the game who insta turns the numbers advantage. Plus, Ember Spirit, who's happy to join any fight with the start he's had. So this is a game where it's even hard to get the numbers advantage. I don't know, not a lot of play options. They're shrinking fast here as well. Just need levels. You need levels on the supports more than anything. You need this Rubik ult. You need to like, pop ult. All right, big kill top, they get it. Yeah, really nice. Uh, that, that was a must have. I mean, you cannot let that Spectre play bottom with the haunt and then TP top lane and let that go unpunished, so. Yeah, I agree. It's a necessary kill. Oh, Moo, gonna hold bottom. I annihilate somewhere in the trees, trying to hide away as Gunner hunts for the kill. The black hole is gonna be good enough to be able to get the kill on the Weaver, but Gunner, well, the chance is coming up. If he could only close the distance, won't be able to get that kill, but no, not the Rubik either. Neither one. Will he be able to run down, but he will be able to get the Marcy, it looks like, or not? Marcy jumps Marcy. away. <laughs> Marcy things. Marcy things, for sure. That was a pretty big ancient stack that I just saw. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a hero to clear it for a bit. Uh, Quince kind of needs Maelstrom before you could do something like that. Uh, it's not as big as you thought, only a double. Oh, really? Uh, it's, not, it's not anything to cry home about. And... I mean, I guess Klinks is the one hero they can play around. Like, they can sidekick him up, and he does a crap ton of damage. He has his javelin now. This hero did get buffed. He, he, he's a lot stronger in these portions of the game. By the way, the, the phrase is right home about it. And also, the song is good or bad. It, it was that. It wasn't naughty or nice. The song, it, it's talking about <laughs> bad or good because it's good for goodness sake. Well, yeah, but isn't it he knows if you're being naughty or if you're being nice? No, that is not how the song goes. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I know I, I'm Jewish. I didn't right, you what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> he pulls out the, wow, I'm Jewish. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know these songs, man. What do you want me to say? Uh, TP away, Realm. It'll be the second. Oh, no, he didn't even make it. I was going to say it's the second time he's had to TP away as soon as he shows up in lane, but this time it's a, a TP of shame. Jump in, rebound, a kill on a Sven is not going to make them feel any better. They have to use the Sonic Wave to ensure it, but meanwhile, they lost their carry. They lost a tower. It's rough out there for KBU. Yeah, it's rough. It is very rough, which is why I said there's nothing to cry home about. <laughs> <laughs> because that's about all they're doing in this game, man. It's, yeah. There's a lot to cry about, and at least they got double damage rune. At least Quap's coming back a little here. Just the collapses are going to be insanely strong here. Chains into silence, into the haunt. Yeah. Cannot get the blink away, and the Marcy who tried to save him is now in trouble as well. Warden still in the slight, trying to buy himself any time he can. Another slight, another bolt, but... Uh... There's just too many heroes from Nouns here, and they're just a bit too powerful. Oh, that's Courier. Oh, that's something. Did you get anything off the Courier, though? No, but take what you can get. Because Gunner's taking everything else, so... <laughs> I mean, he's hey, collapsed. they got a tower. Insane. They have Vlad's up already on Enigma. They have the Haunt to back it up. DP ult with, like, fluffy hat arcane boots already. Of course, the Ember's out of control. You throw Sven Armor on top. Again, there's just no way this lineup takes these early 5-on-5s five five with how strong they are. I highlight <laughs> still play. trying to go for a Witch Blade. I, I don't even know if that's... I'm not even sure if you want that item this late. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be pretty late here. 
There's not much else you can go, though. Oh, he barely clipped him with that dust. That was like max range dusting there. Fortunately, Warden's here to uh, bail him out. At the cost I don't know of his he... own life. Yeah, that wasn't much bailing. That was <laughs> adding to the sinking ship, but it's just not <laughs> much. Well, well, Realm was already getting out of the pool, and Warden just yeah. dove in. I'll save you. Someone has to pay the price, he says. <laughs> Hole mid. Okay. Did they get the chains afterwards? They do. Very nice. You Arson. got him. Soaring Ten. dragon, rising phoenix, fly away. Fleeing Marcy. Another rune for Gunner. I mean, this game's getting out of hand very fast. Like, you're about to have no map left because... These now's cores are going to be strong enough they can hold areas on their own with the backup of Holland and like one support. When that happens, pretty much nowhere to go. You have to fight your way out of the the cage they put you in. And uh, again, the KBU lineup is just not that amazing at fighting out, out of the cage once they're put in it. So three man smoke down mid, insta popped, gunner invis. Pretty sad. Well, Marcy will go ahead and jump on that grenade. Oh, you got Honestly, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit surprised they're not farther behind net worth wise. I mean, 5k is like is significant in this meta, the way it's yeah. work. But it's 3 to 17. Uh, yeah, I'm um, surprised they're getting any farm anywhere on the map. I mean, Clink still had a pretty, he had like a fine game, you know? It wasn't like they stomped all three lanes and the game just ended. This Clink's still, mm. he's still decently strong. You know, he's level 10. He's got his Maelstrom, almost level 11, actually. He's pretty high in net worth, considering yeah. the game state. There's still something to fight around here, but it pretty much has to be him. I don't think the other two cores are doing much. You gotta just sidekick this Clinks and barrage him into dust. It's your best game plan. Because I don't see anything else. Like, uh, unless they clump for, like, five-man Sonic Wave. Yeah, they really don't have the big team fight that you you started off the draft saying like that's what I wanted. Yeah, that's what you want to see in the game too. That gives you, especially as a the underdog team, a little bit more comfort. If you are down like this in the laning phase, you do have ways to come back just through the sheer big team fight. But <laughs> as you said, group up for a five band Sonic Wave doesn't even necessarily sound like a game winner. Uh, speaking of that quap, top of the Malphus blinks over to the side. They do manage to get the kill on a Husky, and if they could back out cleanly, Annihilate. Ooh, he's actually good underneath the tower. They didn't want to dive that okay. deep. Not bad. Ooh, find something on the back end if they can. Looking for Gunner. Ooh, the slight blink hey, away. Blink. Damn. What the hell? He went blink dagger. That's pretty cool. He wants to keep up the aggression, man. Nonstop. I don't know. Is this actually that good? I mean, uh, I'm sure it's okay, but it does make him squishier than he could have been. He can do cool stuff like that, I guess. Oh, Moo got caught. Moo is dead. Husky shows up, three-man silence, but not a whole lot they can do with the follow-up here, not with any cores. I mean, this is they, what they want, though. Some weird type of fight where the Clinks gets to kill people and... Here's another one. All right, pick off after pick off for KBU. All of a sudden, uh, 6K gold lead shrinks to 3K as yep, KBU yep. continue the hunt. They know once they've got nouns down a man, they can just kind of keep pressuring and keep poking. Look for more. I don't know, that was an awkward last few minutes for nouns. Maybe the pause messed with them, but KBU finally, they get behind their clinks, who is their biggest hero in this game. They start fighting with him. Some pickoff leads to another one. Suddenly, Marcy's doing Marcy things. Clink's getting the big gold. Co-op getting the big streak from Ember. I, I'm not a fan of this blink dagger on Ember. I think it's very awkward. Considering he could have... I feel like he could have just cemented the game with, like, some, you know, traditional scaling items, right? Maelstrom Ags or something. Or even just BKB Rush. Whatever you want to do. I feel like it gives him a window back in this game. Like... Now you have a room that you can just get farmed on your heroes if you win one or two more fights. Which blades up for this queen now? Not as squishy as she was. 
Interesting development, Cap. Yeah. Very interesting mm -hmm. development. L little little wrinkle in the uh, the Nouns World Domination game plan here is they they just looked like they were gonna get the fast 2-0 and be able to move on to the upper bracket semifinals, which uh, they already know their opponents and with their their sights ultimately set on being able to contest Sonics in the upper bracket final if uh, things all go according to plan, but. Step one to step two has already had a small little wrinkle as uh, the game is now evened up a lot more in net worth. There's still the, the big danger of there's just so much team fight on the side of nouns. I feel like KBU needs to be the one with a net worth lead. Or the numbers, right? They can get pick offs that we need more. Look at that Gunner blink dust. Again. Gunner. Oh. This blink dagger has done way more harm than good. Yeah, it really has, man. Like, I that's why I just don't understand the blink this game, because do you want to just blink into this lineup? Like, I feel like you want to play with the ball of your team, right? And you don't need to be some crazier initiator. You just build to be tanky and scale, and then you, at some point you go with this Enigma aura and, you know, your Sven aura, and you force a Roche with an XO, and then you're pretty happy. Now, Sember has died twice, and KB, you are the ones doing Roshan. Which is a very bold move, but I think it's the correct move in this game because they're gaining all the momentum. I'm just use it. Now he's about to take some risks. Risk pays off. Can you just for clinks? They reap the rewards. That means this Aegis will cover this small little window where he doesn't have BKB. And uh, yeah, now. Okay. Blink Dagger gets a kill. I'm not. I'm not certain that of the Blink Dagger specifically was required to get that kill, but no. I'm just saying that it did put him in some bad situations. Trying to find the upside of this item somewhere. Radiant are scanning. I mean, I think certain games it could be good, but it's shifting too much weight to his other cores in a game where he was like the strongest hero. Yeah, and I think this was a game Ember literally just 1v5. So it's just Maelstrom, BKB, Ags, and you're like whatever order you feel comfortable doing it. If you, you're going to get to that at like 25 or 30, and the game just implodes. And I think he was in a position to do that. He was like 6 and 0. And now you're in a yeah. position where you're borderline lowest net worth core with minimum, like way more minimal damage output. It's just awkward. A nice rebound stun. Yeah, really good. Gets on to two, no but there's though. no follow up from anybody else. The Spectre. Ult went out and everybody else from KBU ran away instead of running in. Uh, caught off guard a little bit. Pay the price. Trying to get this Weaver BKB. Clink's BKB close. Yeah, that's going to be the big time for KBU. Is this Aegis good enough to get them to the triple BKB? Which is where they're yeah. probably very confident to take the straight 5 on 5. Every time Nouns forces this 5 on 5. It's still pretty hard to fight into it. I mean, you got Wraith Pack, you have Sven Shard plus Warcry. There's so much EHP on this on this five man ball. Yeah, I do I do like your point about uh Gunner's build, because especially since we just came from a patch in a meta that basically every core needed to be ready to carry the game, right? Whether you're you're safe lane, mid, or off lane, like yep. everybody needed to be be potentially be the guy that was the the anchor to the game that could like hold it down for everybody. But smoke rotation telekinesis into rebound, really nicely executed by KBU. Quick clean kill on a core on top. Pushing towards those BKBs with every yeah, yeah. little step. And yeah, I agree, like this. I think the blink, to me, the blink is more interesting if he went, like, he's going Orchid now. If he went Orchid first and then blink, that seems more interesting to me, because that's like a support killer build or something, you know? And the Orchid will create the snowball momentum in the game. Like, you're going to kill this Quap and Weaver for a long time with this Orchid. You just run into an Orchid them, and they're dead. And then it gets you to your next item. This blink doesn't do that for me, so that's my issue with it, but... I think we've talked about it enough, you know? We'll see, we'll see how it pans out. As Weaver, Sunlight, found again. Too aggressive, Sun. Yeah, Mr. Uh, MMR Tourist. 
gonna be sent back home in a body bag. Still haven't gotten to use this Aegis. Only a minute 30 left. They may never get the chance with all these pickoffs happening. That one's kind of awkward. By the time the Marcy comes back up, you've only got a left uh, minute left on the Aegis. And then that's a very small amount of time to kind of force the right team fight. I mean, it's just an awkward Aegis. Like, their lineup wasn't really supposed to get it at that point. They didn't have BKBs. They weren't far enough ahead to force the five on five with it. So, pretty hard for them to get use out of it. Still, it feels bad. It's probably just going to expire here without getting to bait out at least something. Yeah. Well, on the upside, he is. Well, yeah, he's going to kind of try. Poking at him. Do a little damage, seeing if Nouns want to be able to take the bite here. Nouns just trying to kill him from a distance without committing too much. Pop of dust, Realm starts backing away now. Yeah, the right decision. No need to give him a fight off the back of that. He just expiring in 30. Spectre just gets to farm up jungle, can join at any point in time. You're winning the economic war. Nouns happy to wait this one out. Really nice ward. Gets a lot of information about nouns here. Yeah, we'll get the D ward too eventually. I mean, Quap got the BKB. So this timing is being hit here. Think you should wait for the Scotty or not? Uh, I don't think. I don't know if you can. It's it's too hard. I think. It depends how nouns are playing the map. Like, if you can keep split pushing the map and you feel like you're trading, then sure. But if the map closes out or you're losing too many wards, like, it, it's more of a feel thing. I think you should fight with this quad BKB, though, from my perspective. Not easy, but it maybe at least look for something, you know? They're going to bait the Weaver here. Baiting the Weaver and the Clanks. It makes it a little awkward. They don't quite find the initiation. Now they do. They get on top of the Enigma. They need to be able to kill him quickly, though, as the Spectre is now coming in. The Black Hole goes off and catches the Quap, and there oh, goes BKB. the damage dealers. Oh, no. All the timing for nothing. Yeah, they hit all those BKB timings, and they kind of fumble the initiation and well, don't use the BKBs as prescripted. Time lapse, barely going off in time, but he got hit by the silence on the way out. Looks like they lost vision. Either way, it doesn't really matter. That was a team fight right outside of the base with the exorcism going. Husky lived through the team fight, so now he can put that exorcism to good use on the buildings. Strength of these auras, man. Reef packs Venshard on top of the Spectre Scotty. I'm not even sure that was a winnable fight now that I'm looking at it. But yeah, just fumbled initiation. Like, they had this great ward that never got dewarded, and they had the smoke angle. Just couldn't grab that Enigma. If that Enigma gets grabbed, it could be a very different fight. <laughs> Tends to get TB out, but... Ooh. Is that a gem dropped as well? Oh, that's Husky, so it is theirs. Oh, okay. Speaking, Speaking of Husky... Husky yeah, Spirit yeah. Siphon... Give full heal. God, that ability is so good. Yeah, every time I see this hero, it just looks stupidly annoying. Like, why would I want to play into this, you know? I mean, the fact that it, uh, as a five position, I think it's particularly interesting because it gives you something that, like, what what other five gives you that kind of uh, objective, objective taking power, you know? Mm. I, I actually can't think of one. Shadow Shaman. Yeah, a the five OG position. OG objective taker. Yeah, I don't know if that's a five position though. Yeah, I don't know. I, I remember a long once upon a time, Xiao Eight won a TI with some support Rasta on his team. So we might disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, I think Xiao Eight's drafted five position Shadow Shaman anytime soon. Well, he, I mean, if he's listening now, he might do it just to spite you. So I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> A Avery is such a disciple of Zhao Wei <laughs> that he thinks Zhao Wei is like omniscient, that he's listening, that he knows and sees all. 
Yeah, well, it seems like now let's do two men. <laughs> cleaning it up the clinks, cleaning it up the Marcy. I'm just saying. I wouldn't put it past him. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he watches a lot of Dota, he studies a lot of games. Yeah, you think he, he knows whether or not you've been naughty or nice? He might. He might. <laughs> if you get cold this year, blame you know Jowie. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Get into murky <laughs> territory here. Uh, now it's going to take a, a Roshan for themselves. Aegis and a shard. Who gets a shard? Mm. Gunner, I Gabe's guess. Gabe's the Amber. Okay. I mean, I guess what, what other shard is there to give, right? Pulses. I, I mean, DP one's pretty good. But generally giving shard to five is not as powerful unless it's like a very reliable one. Nice. Oh, hold Black hole. Super easy. Yeah, Tumblr toy. Getting the job done. Oh, there's just no traction left to gain this game. The ball, the ball is too strong. <laughs> Nobody's really close to him, and he's just going to go ahead. Well, I take that back. I guess I forgot there's a Spectre in the game. So there's always yeah. somebody close by. Realm will barely live through all of it. I don't know if his team is going to be so lucky here. Marcy oh, four staffed. Yep, yeah, now your map's closed off, so now you have to fight the ball and the ball that was once a tiny pebble has grown into the mighty boulder. You know, normally it's the other way around. Yeah, so well the boulder we gets, know that, you know, chipped and, and and worn down to a smaller stone. We all know in Dota time passes backwards, so <laughs> Such yeah, is, that, is that official lore? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, I don't know. Elder Titan probably stapled the world some wrong way or some <laughs> crap. And the flow of time got messed up. I don't know how this it, shit works. Man. I mean, honestly, it's probably the only way that Dota lore makes any sense is if time does go backwards. I think, I think KB would, with the axe jumps, pounces, like kills wardens backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time to go back in time to the draft screen. They're gonna fight this one oh, out. Four man wave. wave hits three. Really good burning barrage as well. They got one kill out of it and brought another support low, but now it's time to retreat. Fortunately, the Clinks was able to get away just by the skin of his teeth. And, uh, well, everybody else is not so lucky. Damn. I mean, four man and Sonic Wave almost got the Dream Five. Honestly, not the worst fight. It's just these fights are damn near impossible, man. I mean, just so much EHP to cut through. You need a bigger, a bigger burning barrage. Yeah, what's bigger than a barrage? A machine uh, gun? Well, a machine gun barrage. What's a bigger quantity than barrage? An atomic blast. <laughs> <laughs> Need a Death Star Ray. Well, if you can't tell from our conversation, this game is looking pretty over. One nouns have better late game. They've got a Spectre after all. They also have an Enigma. Uh, they've got better team fight. They're up by 16,000 net worth. They are the, the clear favorites of this matchup, especially after game one. And uh, they are currently one late at Barracks up, but. KBU not going to call it quits just yet. TI qualifiers, after all, dreams, hopes, and dreams are built around this moment. Absolutely. Never surrender. Never give up. Realm jumps, jumps. Realm. fight for your Realm's life, son. Tanky. He's pretty tanky. Barrage going through. Coast is actually getting a little bit low. He does have the Aegis, though. And even if they do work through him, he'll come right back. Buyback buy now. Back. Clinks also has a buyback if they want to try and hold this one. Yeah, He's going to go for it now. They don't have the immediate initiation anywhere, though. Yeah, Exo's going down. No black hole. He just out. If you're ever going to find something, it's probably now. Sonic Wave back up. I mean, are missing two heroes, but... Man, the gunner's just in. Blinks in, gets the kill on the Rubik, running him down underneath the fountain. Meanwhile, the stun underneath the Midnight Pulse. Poor old Clinks, left alone to die as the rest of his team huddles underneath the glow of the fountain. 
Just too little, too late, you know? Yeah. Oh, Sunlight's gonna DC here, but they're gonna call GG. The old rattle bones wasn't enough. Though he had a pretty good game, I will say. Like, the clinks look solid. I, I, I do have to wonder, like, what is... <laughs> <laughs> That's dispersion for you. I do have to wonder what it looks like when they're fighting their lanes differently, right? Like we talked about how like maybe the Clanks versus the Enigma. The Enigma had such a free lane against that Weaver. I don't know what they yeah, thought that I, lane was going to do against an Enigma, but it did not accomplish whatever that was. Yeah, maybe they thought the like bug idol on interaction.